All right. Uh, so this question, as presented in the book, mm-hmm. kind of gives you the answer. Mm-hmm. Because they tell you to substitute x equals 4 sine theta. Um, and we can do that and say 16 minus 4 sine theta squared equals what? 16 minus 16 sine squared theta equals 16 times 1 minus sine squared theta Mm -hmm. equals 16 cosine squared theta. Okay, and of course, all of this had a radical above it the whole time. Yes. Equals 4 cosine theta. Cosine theta. Now, they, they make this specification that theta is between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. Yes. Which means that we are over here, mm-hmm. where cosine theta is positive. In other words, this is honestly 4 cosine theta and not negative 4 cosine theta. Um, so it narrows it down. Right. It, it makes it so that when we take the square root here naively, we're actually doing the correct thing. Whereas we'd have to write negative 4 cosine theta if cosine theta was negative. Um, but I also mentioned that they are sort of giving us the answer. Um, in that if you were presented with this expression and you were not asked to make any sort of substitutions, it still might occur to you that this expression was a remnant of something Pythagorean, Mm -hmm. right? Um, And so if I have something like a root... 16 minus x squared, and I call that z, then what do we have? We have 16 equals x squared plus z squared. Um, 16 is another way to write 4 squared. Anyway, we have a triangle that we can imagine where the hypotenuse is 4, um, x lives here, and... Sure enough, we see that if I set that up, then sine theta is x over 4, and cosine theta is root 16 minus x squared over 4. Okay, but you didn't actually need to know that to do the problem as stated in the book. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do another one. Um, Do the next one. We're told that x equals 3 sine theta, and we're told that negative pi over 2 is now smaller than theta, is now pi, uh, is smaller than pi over 2. Um, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm doing the wrong one. Well, we might as well do this one. Uh, The expression that we're asked for is x squared over root 9 minus x squared. Um, I'll sort of skip to the answer, and whoever's watching this can work it out on their own for fun. Um, 3 sine theta squared. Now, down here, we're going to have what? 3 cosine theta? Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. And so what ends up happening is we have 9 sine theta over 3 cosine theta times another copy of sine theta, which you could call that 3 tangent theta sine theta. <laughs> Um, okay, it's not too enlightening. No, it's good. I apologize for such a ugly problem. <laughs> um, so here we go. We got uh, x over root 25 
plus x squared. Now I'm going to draw the triangle okay. without even the suggested substitution. Okay. Um, now I've got a plus here, which suggests that this expression is the hypotenuse. Yes. Okay. Um, so I've got 25 plus x squared. How could that happen? That could happen if I had an x and a 5. In other words, tangent of theta equals x over 5. Now, of course, they tell you that in the problem. And they're expecting you to plug in 5 tangent theta for x everywhere you see it and then use identities. Um, so we can actually instead see immediately from the triangle that this is sine theta because it's opposite over hypotenuse. But let's do what they want us to do, which is 5 tangent theta for x in the numerator and then in the denominator 25 plus 25 tangent squared theta. All I'm doing is replacing x with tangent theta everywhere I see it. Um, 5 tan theta. Down here I have root 25 times root 1 plus tangent squared. five over five tangent theta one plus tangent squared this thing right here is secant squared square root of secant is square root of secant squared is secant yes okay and then finally these cancel I have sine theta over cosine theta divided by 1 over cosine theta. Dividing fractions is sine theta over cosine theta times cosine theta over 1, which is sine theta. I, for one, am a fan of drawing the triangle because in this picture, uh, you know, picture is it worth a thousand words. Well, in this case, this picture is worth all of this algebra in that we were asked for the trigonometric expression that this represented, assuming that tangent theta was x over 5, or in other words, 5 tangent theta was x. We can draw the triangle and immediately see that the trig expression is sine theta. But if I want to use identities, I've got to go through all this mess. But in the end, sure enough, it's signed data. Okay? Yeah.